You're looking at Cape Canaveral in Florida, where Boeing Starliner spacecraft is on the launch pad, set for a crucial test this evening. The aerospace giant plans to send its multi-billion dollar vehicle to the International Space Station after a series of delays. Chris Van Cleve is at the Kennedy Space Center. Chris, good morning. What more can you tell us? Well, good morning. Starliner's already experienced more than two years of delays, costing Boeing around $600 million. The aerospace giant is hoping the third time will be the charm here. A successful mission could clear the way for Starliner to carry astronauts for the first time and get Boeing's space program back on track. For the third time, Boeing Starliner has been rolled out to the launch pad and hoisted atop a 172-foot-tall Atlas V rocket. Its mission, autonomously dock with the International Space Station, giving Boeing's reputation and place in the space race a much-needed boost. We need to go up, fly the spacecraft without humans on it, demonstrate the uh, automated systems, and come back safely. In 2014, NASA gave Boeing and SpaceX multi-billion dollar contracts to develop new spacecraft that could fly American astronauts to the ISS, ending the dependence on Russia. Newcomer Elon Musk said SpaceX could do it for $2.6 billion. Boeing, the tried and true aerospace juggernaut, was awarded $4.2 billion. Ignition, While SpaceX soared, launching five NASA crews on its Dragon spacecraft to the ISS since 2020, Boeing Starliner stumbled. And liftoff, the rise of Starliner. This 2019 launch got Starliner into space, but a software glitch prevented its onboard engines from firing on time. And we do have an off nominal insertion reported. The spacecraft failed to reach the ISS. A second attempt last August was scrubbed after tests at the launch pad discovered 13 stuck valves in Starliner's propulsion system. We think we solved the problems, so now the crew were no longer concerned. Astronaut Mike Fink is training to be on Starliner's next mission. What are you personally watching for? We're looking for the technical side to, to work uh, as well as it can. But if everything looks good, we have a nice smooth uh, entry and landing, uh, then that just builds up confidence and reduces risk for the, the next crew. And where is your level of confidence right now? My confidence is, is really high. Uh, there's the unknown unknowns, of course, uh, but uh, everything that we can do ahead of time, I think we've done. Launch is currently set for about 7 o'clock local time this evening. If all goes well, astronauts could hitch a ride on Starliner before the end of the year. If you're wondering why does NASA want a capsule from SpaceX and Boeing in space, redundancy is a good thing. Tony, think about it this way. If you need to take the kids to the doctor in your car, <laughs> SpaceX has a flat tire, wouldn't it be great to be able to go into the garage and hop into Boeing? <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. That's landed for me. I appreciate it. Way, way to personalize it. Van Cleave. Thank you. <laughs>